I had pink eye. I'm gonna show you how we get gas in New Jersey. How's it going, bro? Can you fill it regular for me? Yeah, thank you. Easy peasy. First thing this morning, I'm going out. It's gonna be about an hour drive. It's 7.45 right now. It says 8.49 I should get there. Uh, and that's before my terrible GPS uh, learns that there's traffic in the morning going to New York City. Well, I've been to this house twice now. It is, initially I thought it was the control board. So the voltage I had coming off the board going into the gas valve, it was like 14 volts. And you know, I disconnected all the wires and checked voltage across from the wire to the hot, then to the common, got the same voltage. But I had 26 volts through my whole limit circuit and everything I had, even disconnecting the transformer, I had good voltage. Everything else seemed normal. So to have an odd voltage coming directly off the control board into the gas valve, and there was no shorts in the gas valve, wouldn't you think it's probably the control board? So I get a new control board, plug everything in, it was a universal board, which I don't like using them. I like using the OEM boards personally. I know there's nothing wrong with the universal boards, but it worked fine. Everything ran, ran for a couple days, and then it went down again. That went down on, I think that was Friday or Saturday. Then I went back, so that was my first callback, and the, they had it off at the thermostat so instead of me going down I just jumped it out at the control board I was a little lazy on that not gonna lie I jumped it out it ran a little off fine every other time after that even not having the jumper wire on the control board it ran fine so where this problem is coming from is beyond me this is now my second callback. I, I really don't want to pretend like I never get callbacks and all I ever do is show you guys, you know, the fun, cool projects that I get to work on. No, this is a part of being an apprentice. You make mistakes, you get callbacks. Odds are, as of right now, this is going to be... Uh, you're not going to want to see me sit there for hours. Uh, it's just going to get incredibly boring. God, where is this guy? So I guess that's the only problem with not pumping your own gas is you got to wait for the gas station attendant. There you go. To do it for you, but he's a good guy, so give him a tip. Thanks, bro. Have a good one. At one point in life, I was a gas station attendant too. So I know exactly what it like. I know exactly how bad it sucks when you gotta work in the cold, when you gotta work in the rain and in the snow, and you gotta work on weekends and it's long hours. So I try to always make sure I give at least the gas station attendants, try to give them a tip, even a dollar or two. I'll tell you, getting a dollar tip as a gas station attendant, it doesn't seem like much, but man, when you get enough money that you can now buy yourself a hot lunch on a cold day, oh. I hear the inducer. See the glow of the hot surface equator.
anywhere. Uh, I just don't know. This is why I'm so confused. Okay. Unit is in standby right now. And... 14 volts to the gas valve. To C, 14 volts. To R, 14 volts. I... I decided to disconnect the Ecobee entirely and uh, just jump out the board, see what happens. Now we got an error code. Pressure switch open during trial for ignition or run mode. So this is where we're at right now. But what I don't get is I have continuity. Let's see. And it lights off. I'm just gonna go get a new one. At this point, what am I gonna do? Please, please trust me when I say, I, yes, I measured voltage across the pressure switch. I'm not that dumb. I don't understand though, why when I disconnect it and jump it out, it works fine every single time. If I put the hot leg onto the 24 volt leg onto the pressure switch, and then I check voltage on the other side of the switch, there's 26 volts. I just don't get it. I don't know how you guys can deal with furnaces all day, every day like this. They drive me nuts. I'd rather deal with a boiler. I just got to Johnstone right now to get the pressure switch and I'm gonna go back, put it on. Fancy. I mean, you know what? At this point, I got the switch. If it works, it works. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. So this is the old switch. That's our new switch. And uh, just gonna test it a bunch of times. So far, so good. So as of right now, I am very confident that it was just the pressure switch all along and it lit off every single time. I tried it five times, worked every time. It also did that the two other times I was here, but you know, I don't think it could be anything else other than the pressure switch. So we're just gonna have to give it time. <sighs> Looks like this is lunch waiting for one of the other guys to get here. We're gonna work together on this. I don't know why. Uh, something to do with heights, I guess. We'll see, I've never been here before. Actually, I have been here once. This was the first building I ever came to to make an oil delivery. So, pretty cool, but never worked inside or anything. Don't really know what kind of units they have. Obviously, it's oil. Maybe that's why he's coming to help me out kind of early it's only 1 30 so fingers crossed this takes a little bit of time because if we're done quick that means there's still time to pick up another job which means there's still time to get stuck working late so let's just take it as it goes all right i'm not gonna pretend like i'm gonna sit here in the truck for two hours and run the bill up for the customer that's not what i mean i just mean it would be nice if it wasn't something as simple as like a switch being off. Damn. 
all set. Uh, 425, so I guess it took about three hours. Mm, I wanted to film, but as much as I wanted to, I just wanted to get out of here and you know, stopping to film. I got a little bit, I'll play it on the screen right now so you can see kind of the stuff I did. It was really just hitting the reset button. Turns out the reason that they all went on reset is because they ran out of oil. They've got like a 5,000 gallon tank, but ran out of oil. So we came over the weekend, filled it, and now we had to come today, it's Monday, to reset everything. So it was really just hitting the reset button, getting the air out of the line on most of the burners. One of them had a ton of water in it. Don't know how that happened. We just bled it out, changed the filter, and that lit off okay. Another one had, um, this filter hasn't been cleaned in like, I don't know, five years or so. It was filthy. Changed the filter, changed the strainer, changed the nozzle. It, it's a lot to do and film at the same time, especially because oil just, you know, I'm covered in it. As clean as I tried to stay, I still couldn't even, so I didn't even want to get it on my phone, but uh, all six units are now running. Um, I have to go pick up something for someone that they left, and then I gotta go work on a rooftop unit after this. So I thought I was gonna get out early today. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. It's already getting pretty dark out and pretty cold. Gotta go on the roof. Yeah, no way. I'm gonna see if I can see it, but I have no idea. Maybe if I go that roof to that roof and then up to that roof. Yeah, come on, the damn light. This died. You know what? This is crazy. There's no way I'm gonna get up from here. I mean, this is up to my chest. I'm gonna have to jump up. I can't even see anymore. The unit is way over there. Not happening. So this is what's gonna happen. Uh, the video is gonna end here and I will come back at some point tomorrow and take a look, but